subscribe and click on the bell icon to get the notification of latest videos by BKT Media Private Limited. UNGC is a principle-based framework for businesses in the areas of human rights, labor, environment, and anti-corruption. Global Compact is uh, going strong. It has expanded. It's a worldwide brand, which is the most uh, sought brand, encouraging the business organizations all over the world to work for the society, for the corporate social responsibility and achievement of SDGs. The 10th principle of the UN Global Compact asks companies and businesses to fight corruption in all its forms, including extortion. It recognizes that the private sector is part of the problem of corruption and therefore they should be part of the solution. The vision of uh, Global Compact Network India is to impact lives, keeping in mind 17 sustainable development goals. The Center of Excellence for Governance, Ethics and Transparency, that is CKET, came into picture in March 2015. The bottom line, the vision of CKET is to develop pragmatic approaches to the 10th UNGC principle on anti-corruption. It's been a long uh, journey, uh, both for businesses and for the Global Compact. We respond to the needs of businesses. CGET can be defined as a network of business enterprises who subscribe to the 10th UNGC principle. Key CGET achievements are transparency in procurement, anti-corruption policy advocacy with business, good governance of smart cities, collective action to ensure level playing field for businesses. The first initiative of CGET was an in-depth work on procurement. This white paper was discussed with the Ministry of Finance and a touch of modernity has come into GFR 2017, which we contributed to formulating. Our team contributed to formulating in the CGET. The white paper was released at UNGC Annual Local Network Forum meeting held for the first time in India in April 2017. With the advent of Sustainable Development Goals and launch of Smart City Mission in India in 2015, CGET initiated a consultative process in multiple Indian cities to promote transparent governance of smart cities. The learnings of the consultative process was captured in a framework for governance of smart cities. For the local network and for CGET, to take on this initiative is really, really important. Riding the growing momentum of smart cities in India, Seagit signed a five-year MOU with Pune Smart City to provide governance advisory and subsequently collaborated with different knowledge partners to achieve the vision of Smart City Mission. When we started this project, we thought why not approach and create PPP framework which essentially would come handy for the cities to follow, would be in line with the laws of the land as well as should be commensurating with the best practices globally. For whatever time Pune has remained number one, I think Global Compact had a great role to play there. Building on national partnerships, CGET further entered into collaboration with global bodies, particularly World Bank and the Global Compact Cities program to widen the reach of its city initiatives. One major impact or success factor that we are seeing now is that Predominantly in India, in government contracts, uh, many a times big international businesses, multinationals do not uh, bid directly. They are always third party vendors of some agency. In the cities that we are working, for the first time businesses have been bidding directly and one of the business actually won a contract uh, just two months ago. So that for us was a huge uh, success because that shows the confidence that the business fraternity is having. Seagate developed tools of interventions such as framework for governance of smart cities, risk assessment and mitigation toolkits and a public-private partnership handbook to strengthen governance system in cities. Seagate has produced a lot of resources that are used not only here in, in India, they are used all over the world, they are quoted all over the world. These are fantastic resources. CGET team members had opportunities to interact and showcase their achievements and learnings at global forums. 
Collective action is a great tool to open up new markets. It is about uh, the joint fight against corruption uh, in bringing allies together for one common goal and that is cleaning up markets for great business for the benefit of all. Center of Excellence for Governance, Ethics and Transparency conducted roundtable with businesses and regional workshop to share their best practices and the kind of solution and ideas those can really have the smart city mission of Government of India. Here I would like to particularly also say that both uh, uh, the team at the headquarters which is led by a lady called Sabine Zindera who is like one of the most uh, forthcoming, supportive, helpful women leaders uh, that is there in the business world who has kept up her commitment to anti-corruption and uh, compliance uh, taking forward and her entire uh, integrity project team based out of Germany as well as the Siemens team Mr. Neville Gandhi in India who over the last seven years and two Siemens integrity projects has forever been helpful uh, in uh, helping us uh, take the right decisions, implement the right project. Seagate intends to continue its fight against corruption through achievement of sustainable development goals. The most important for me really is SDG 16 because where there is corruption, there can be no peace, there will be no justice. You know, it has so much effect on the vulnerable. It takes money away from health facilities you know, that can be provided to everyone, especially the poor. The ultimate goal of Seagate is to achieve sustainable development goals in India to ensure the prosperity of both people and planet.